Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. So in this video I'd like to give you guys an update on my patchy podium here. I'm also going to be repotting it in this video and putting it into this pot here. So this is a patchy podium Lemurii. It's also known as a Madagascan palm. It's a, it used to be quite an unusual house plant but it's becoming a lot more common nowadays. I've seen it quite often in garden centres and nurseries so it's certainly becoming a lot more easily available and uh, some of you might already have it at home. So this plant is native to Madagascar, hence the name Madagascan uh, palm. It grows in a very dry, arid environment and what it does is it grows very long, tall shoots to get above the rest of the other plants. And then on the top of the long, tall shoots it has a mass of leaves. So what you get is a very long, bare stem covered in spines to protect it from any, other, any herbivores or anything like that. And then you get a rosette of leaves on the top. So when it's younger it, it looks like it's covered in leaves but as it grows up the lower leaves will fall off and you'll just have the leaves at the very top. Also it can often go dormant in winter so if it's a little bit cold for it, it doesn't like the environment it will completely lose all its leaves and mine did that last, last winter because I had it in a conservatory it wasn't heated enough it lost all its leaves. It's now the beginning of August and you can see it's got a nice set of leaves on it again. It started to grow but it's desperately in need of repotting. And I'll have to show you a picture now how small it was when I first got it and it was in a really small pot it was probably only about five centimeters in diameter whereas this one here as you can see is a nine centimeter pot. So when it comes to repotting patchy podiums, because they're a type of succulent, they don't want to be in too wet a compost and also they shouldn't be repotted too early on. What I'm doing here is a bigger pot than what I should really do, but uh, I'm just going to be very careful with the watering, keep it really on the dry side, that way it shouldn't be a problem. Also I'm going to use a very free draining compost mix, but the problem is if you give it too big a pot straight away, what happens is the compost doesn't dry out fast enough, it stays damp and the roots can start to rot. So. Try and keep it in a smaller pot if you can. Also, um, they do do quite well in small pots. You can see, for example, this is only 9cm and it has grown to a good size, although it is desperately pot-bound now, so it desperately needs repotting. They can put up with being pot-bound quite well, so don't worry too much if they are a little bit pot-bound. But if you do repot them into a bigger pot, they're going to grow a lot better for it. You're going to get a much bigger plant and they're going to grow a lot quicker as well. Although they're succulents, they do grow surprisingly quickly. I think that's partly to do with their life cycle, so a lot of these plants in the wild, they grow in a kind of a woodland area and they have to compete with other plants. So they want to get up above the canopy quite quickly. Also, the way it grows with these large leaves, these, what it does is when there is good, good growing conditions. So it goes through uh, seasons of dry and wet. When the uh, wet season's around, it can grow all these big leaves, get loads of photosynthesis going, get lots of sunlight absorbed and make the most of that water whilst it's available. And then when it has a dry period, it can drop all its leaves, just stay like a cactus having a spiky stem, survive the drought. And then when the, the, the rains come again, it can put on lots of leaves and make the most of that water and grow quickly. So it can grow quite fast. And certainly this has grown quite fast for me. Um, it has slowed down recently because it is very pot bound, but we're putting it in a new pot that will help it to grow a lot faster. So when it comes to repotting the plant, one of the biggest problems is the spines. They're not as bad as some cacti, but uh, they are really quite, quite sharp and really, really large. So you do have to be careful with them when handling this plant. So there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm going to be using thick gloves, but the other ways you can do it is you can, um, you can use either a bit of card or paper. Just form a loop and you can wrap it around the stem. This is a, a method quite common for, for cacti. So you can wrap around the paper like that, pinch it at the end, that way you can lift it up and repot it in the new plant and that, uh, you don't get spiked that way. As I said, what I'm going to use is uh, thick gloves, just going to get a little bit more control using thick gloves. But even with thick gloves, you have to be careful that it doesn't pierce the, uh, the rubber because they are quite sharp spines. Also, as it's a patchy podium, it will have poisonous sap. It's got white latex sap and if it gets on your skin, it can cause a rash or irritation, especially if you're sensitive to latex. So always be careful when dealing with this plant because you don't want to get too much sap on you as it is quite toxic. So I'm going to go ahead now and take it out of the bottom of its source. So you'll see how pot bound it is. It tends to have these quite large succulent roots. You can see there. Now I'm going to have to break these off just to get it out of the pot. I'm going to snap them off. This should be fairly simple. So because it's very pot bound, I'm going to have to try and push it up from the bottom and loosen the roots as much as I can. The roots, because they're, they're, they're the succulent plant, the roots often swell up and they're succulent themselves. So it's kind of swelled up over time and produced a very uh, congested root system. That's putting a lot of pressure on the pot, making it difficult to pull out.
So you can see there, got a good root system. It is quite congested, but there's not too much dead, which is good, so I don't have to remove anything. That's the main tap root there, which is starting to spiral because it's in a small pot. That should, uh, it'll stay spiraled, unfortunately, but it'll send a lot of side uh, tap roots to kind of replace that, and it'll just kind of fill the new, the new pot, put out lots of new growth, especially as I damage the end of it, that'll encourage lots of side roots to form. So what you can use for this is a, a cacti or succulent compost mix. Because this succulent is quite fast growing though, I prefer to have it with a slightly richer mix. So I've actually put, made my own mix here. What this is, is about 40% perlite. I've also added some quite a bit of loam compost. The loam based compost is, um, what happens with that is it works quite well for succulents because when it gets very dry, it reabsorbs the water quite well. Whereas if you used normal multi-purpose compost, often when that gets very dry, it's, it struggles to reabsorb the water. So with this, it should reabsorb better. And I'll be letting this dry out quite a lot, so it needs to be able to re-wet quite easily. I have also mixed in a little bit of multi-purpose compost, just so it does hold a bit more water, because as I say, this does grow well when it's damp, and it does go through wet seasons in the wild. So I've added a bit of um, multi-purpose compost as well, just to make sure there's a bit more water retention. And the reason for the perlite is just to make sure it's really free draining and so there's not any risk of rot because I don't want the roots to rot off because that's something that's quite easily done with succulents like this. So one of the more tricky things with repotting patchy podium and any other kind of spiky plants like cacti is when you're putting in the compost in the pot, it's quite easy to get the compost or dirt trapped in between the spines. So you have to try as best you can not to get it trapped in there. If it does get trapped in there, what you can use is something like a pencil or a small stick and try and tease it out. Sometimes you can use a paintbrush or something like that. Um, just because it doesn't look too nice if you get lots of dirt in, within the spines, you kind of lose that nice appearance. And when it comes to repotting this, I want to make sure I don't bury any of the stem. Because it is a succulent, I need to make sure it's got plenty of drainage around the base. If the stem gets wet in any way, it's going to rot. So that's my patch of podium now fully repotted. What I need to do is I'll, I'll give this a water, let the uh, water sink through and I'll see how much the compost settles because it will settle slightly. I also might need to tweak it slightly because it doesn't look quite straight. So I'll just need to keep an eye on that because until the roots get fully established in the compost, it's going to be very loose in the pot, especially as it has such a small pot to begin with. There's not much stability in the root system because it's so small. So until the, the uh, roots get established, I'll just need to make sure that I keep this nice and straight. But I'm quite happy I've gone with the repot. I, what I wanted to do is because I know this is going to be in this pot for quite a long time and because they can survive quite well pot bound, I know this plant's going to get very large before it's time for me to repot the, it again. So what I'm going to, so what, that's why I've gone with a nicer pot. So instead of plastic, I've upgraded to a nice porcelain pot. It does have a hole in the bottom as well. It's very important to make sure that patsy podiums are well drained. If they sit in water at all, they're just going to rot as they are succulent plants. So that's all for this video. I'll maybe give you guys an update on my patchy podium in a few months' time when it's put on some more growth. It should grow pretty quickly, I would think. It's the uh, beginning of August, so it's getting towards the end of the growing season. But August is still normally quite good for growth here in Scotland, so I would expect this to keep growing till about October time. And then it's just going to slow down, and then it might lose its leaves again in winter, especially as in here it's not going to be kept all that warm. So that's all for this update, and I'll give you guys an update probably in a few months, or maybe next spring when it comes back into growth.